the mysteries of ancient Egypt and its hidden secrets. These tombs represent the technology of resurrection. They created monuments that make the mind boggle. Some of their greatest achievements lost beneath the sand and water of the Nile Valley. Until now. Imagine if we could empty oceans or drain the desert and reveal the secrets beneath. Now we can. Using the latest imaging technology to pierce sea and sand and turn accurate data into 3D images. This time, can scientists solve the mystery of Alexandria's lighthouse and recreate one of the ancient wonders of the world? Why did a pharaoh build 15 mega forts when none of them saw a major battle? This is a forgotten age in Egyptian history because we have lost access to these monuments. And what does a fleet of boats buried six miles from the Nile reveal about Egypt's original Valley of the Kings? Ancient Egypt, one of the greatest civilizations on Earth. It lasts for 3,000 years. Its people develop a remarkable written language using pictures and symbols. They worship strange gods. And they build two of the seven wonders of the ancient world. First, the Great Pyramids of Giza. Um, the, the ancients um, determined the seven wonders because they met certain criteria. It is the ingenuity of the design, but it had to be built on a super colossal, over-the-top scale. The Egyptians' second ancient wonder is the Lighthouse of Alexandria. Known as the Pharos, it is built on a grand scale like the other wonders, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon and the Colossus of Rhodes. Of the seven wonders, only the pyramids now survive. But as the waters of the Nile Delta drain away, can the architectural marvel of the Pharos be brought back to life from the seas around Alexandria Harbor and recreated accurately for the first time, a sight that once dazzled the world. The Pharaoh's ranked as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world because it was something that had never been seen before. Some people say um, the beacon could be seen 30 miles out to sea. Alexandria's lighthouse is a technological and architectural masterpiece. Built in the 3rd century BC, it is the crowning glory of a new capital city founded by the conqueror of ancient Egypt, Alexander the Great. Alexandria was the be-all and end-all. Um, you might think of the Champs-Élysées in Paris or Times Square in New York. Alexandria was all of those things and more. Um, it was the most beautiful city that the world had ever seen. Egypt's new rulers want the pharaohs to send a big and simple message. He wanted to show how powerful is the city. So you need a sign, a big, a huge banner that says, welcome to Alexandria. The pharaohs was created mainly as a landmark. But once Egypt's power has faded, Alexandria's famous lighthouse falls into disrepair. The land beneath it slowly subsides into the sea. And in the 14th century, it finally collapses after it's struck by an earthquake. The pharos is thought to be lost here, beneath 23 feet of water, at the entrance of Alexandria Harbor. Shh, shh, 
Now, a French team of archaeologists is trying to rediscover its true magnificence. Using the latest undersea imaging technology, they're scouring the seabed for clues. Their aim is to digitally rebuild this lost ancient wonder of the world for the first time. Leading the investigation is architect and archaeologist Isabel Eri. She's been searching for the truth about Alexandria's lighthouse for more than 20 years. It's always very rewarding to work on one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. I'd be lying if I said otherwise. Isabel's team is working in one of the largest underwater archaeological sites in the world. They investigate some mysterious granite blocks. These remarkable remains are clearly man-made. Could they be from the missing ancient wonder? Isabel's task is to unlock the true dimensions and design of the Pharos. <laughs> 